good save by Banks. This tie is in very safe hands. The hands of arguably the best goalkeeper the world has ever seen. The hands of okay. Gordon Banks, who's off to meet an old pal. Into the centre where goalie Williams fights desperately to keep the Wolves net clear. These egg custards are also in safe hands. The hands of another fine England custodian, Bert Williams, who's treating his special guest to a special treat for afternoon tea. It's about an hour from Gordon's home near Crewe to Bert's bungalow in Shropshire, a journey that always brings great joy for both men. How much are you looking forward to seeing Bert today? Oh, great. I'm looking forward to it. I, 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 as I say, I admire him so much. and. Uh, He's, he's, he's done ever so well in his life and, and uh, I've been a great admirer, so it's going to be great to see him again. There he is. Good to see you, mate. Good oh, to see you. Right. You're, You're looking look well. So are you. So are you. You're looking well. So what a privilege for late kick-off. <laughs> You're a spring chicken <laughs> compared to me. Don't mention that. <laughs> to share the heartwarming story no, of the unique sorry. bond between Banksy and Bert. <laughs> Three years ago, Gordon was guest of honour at Bert's 90th birthday. The party was at Molyneux, where else, and everyone had a great time. Especially these two. A couple of months ago, Bert turned 93. He's now England's oldest international footballer. But back in the 1950s, he was Banksy's role model. And whenever Wolves played in Sheffield, Gordon used to stand behind the goal at Hillsborough or Bramall Lane to watch and learn about the art of goalkeeping from England's number one. By watching goalkeepers at that time, especially the great ones like Bert, it learnt me things, you know, it learnt me things to do. He was fantastic, great, great guy. How much did it mean to you when Gordon collected that World Cup winner's medal with England? I'd love to have been in this place, obviously, mm. but uh, I can't think of anybody better than him to receive it. He's an idol for any young person to follow. It still hurts Bert to recall his own World Cup experience. England's 1-0 defeat against the USA stunned the nation in 1950. But 20 years later, it was Banks's incredible save against Brazil that left Pele in shock and Williams in awe. It had everything. Your eye on the ball, your body going with it. Anticipation. It was probably the best save I've ever seen. You'd have been proud of that one yourself, Bert, wouldn't you? Well, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> he made a feel like that, I know he did. Is it true that Pelly was so confident that he scored that he turned away shouting goal? He goal, shouted goal that's right, put his hands up. He, <laughs> he thought it was a certain goal. And then, and then you know, when he realised it went like that, his head went down, I think, yeah. Banksy and Burt were both world-class goalkeepers, but for all their international caps, these chaps value one thing more than any other, their lifelong friendship forged through football. And there's another common bond between them because both men know only too well the devastation that Alzheimer's can bring. When Bert's wife Evelyn died, he vowed to raise money to fight the disease. And now he's selling off his collection of glass decanters to achieve his target of £150,000. Helped every step of the way by Gordon, who also lost his brother David to Alzheimer's. We know how horrible it is, and so if, if we can get some money to help to get a cure for it, it would be fantastic, it really would. Uh, but I do admire him for, for what he's done. Ah, oh, look at this, just look at this. Bert played okay. 380 games in goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Gordon rattled off 480 in his career with Leicester City and Stoke City. So many football stories to share, and every one of them as sharp in the memory as they were back in the 40s and 50s, the 60s and 70s. Spanning four marvellous decades, two great goalkeepers, one lifelong friendship. City on that little settee, there's more than 100 England caps between you. I thought he was going to say 100 custards. <laughs> <laughs> he had me worried then. Oh yes, I almost forgot, the custards. Everything stops for tea when Banksy meets Bert. <laughs>